talking, I don't sweat that. If they don't trust me, either I respect that. If she be down the ride, oh, I bet that. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is JH. How y'all doing, Postal Family? Is everybody good? Is everybody cool? Everybody clean? Are you crisp? Are you feeling iry today? Let's talk. We're going to get right into it. There's no but first. We're just going to get right into it. There's a lot to talk about. But first, <laughs> you guys thought I was going to... No. Listen, two topics. Second topic, extremely important. Um, but I want to address this. We are a postal family and we can try to do what we can do when we can do it for each other. I stand by that regardless of all the stuff I talk and everything. But um, somebody reached out to me and said, please share if you can help. I have a voice, so I'm going to do this. And in case you didn't know, this is just something that we can do. Hello, my name is Mark Mark Mark. And I'm writing to ask you if you can ask the Postal family in your YouTube community to keep one of our Postal brothers, Philip T., I don't want to mangle his last name, in their thoughts and prayers. He is a mail processing clerk at the PNDC in Utah. And sadly, he's very, very sick right now and is not doing well. I can't share what his illness exactly is due to privacy reasons as well as out of respect for him and his family. But if you could please share this to help uplift his spirits during his battle with his illness, that would help him not feel so alone during this time of great uncertainty. Yeah, yeah, I know the feeling. I don't know my backgrounds, but I'm not even editing this thing. Um, if anyone from the Postal Service family would like to donate annual leave to Philip, that would help the single father of four out tremendously. And then they speak about what he is, a little bit about Philip. I feel very fortunate I met Philip back in blah, blah, blah. Uh, made me feel like he was family from day one or this person from family like we were day one. Helped me learn the ropes when others failed to train me properly. Sounds like a good guy. He's one that always lends a hand without hesitation. He's a hard worker, dedicated to make sure the job is done right. And so the American people can get their mail on time. You don't have to sell me on this. When he sees things are unjust, he steps in to be the voice of reason and compassion to set things right. Philip enjoys your videos very much as well as Miss K. I truly miss our talks about what we learn from them because we're both subscribers. If you could please share the following. Hang in there, Philip. <laughs> you can and will make it through this illness. Real talk. Real talk. I don't know what you believe in, but when uh, you speak, there's power in the tongue. There's power in your words. All right? Need you to get back to the dungeon. Do what you need to do. Um, so if you guys don't know, we can donate some of our annual leave. You probably thinking this. I'm not donating none of my annual leave. Yes, you can donate your annual leave because I don't need 30 hours from you. I don't need 20 hours from you. I don't need 10 hours from you. Two maybe three you know how many people watch this video do you know how many people if you can get three people i mean three of your annual leave day just three with the amount of people i have this person that's going through what they need to go through should not have to worry about shmoney okay i'm gonna donate and if you want to donate there are processes. They sent a picture, and on the picture, which I'm gonna post, uh, you zoom in, I'll tell you exactly what it says. I'm going through my phone right now. I can't find the picture. Oh, way to go, Jay, way to go. Lost the article and everything. Um, it says, please post. And this is something that the post office does. Request for annual leave donations. US Postal Service annual leave share program. We have requests, we have received a request for annual leave donations from Philip uh, and incapacitated for available postal duties. Any career CCA, MHA, PSE employee who's interested in donating earned annual leave may access PS form 3970D request to donate leave at something 
An employee may also contact the immediate supervisor or HR Shared Services, that's probably the easiest thing to do, at 1-877-477-3273, option five, or a union representative to request this form. A donor may not donate leave to his or her supervisor. Mail PS Form 3970D request to donate leave with parts one and two completed to Attention Leave Share Coordinator, HR Shared Services Center Compensation and Benefits System, Green Barrel. I'm going to post it. I mean, actually, you know what? I don't need to post anything because we doing things gangster like this. Boom. See it? Uh, way to go, Jay. Try that again. See it? There we go. Stop the screen. That's who you can do it through, right? Right. Cool. All right. Um, I'll, I'll post it. I'll post the picture as well. Also, this is rough. This is rough. If you're ready to sit through some information that's going to give you information about how the post office operates with the unions, how the union retaliates back, what you should and shouldn't say, this is the time. So go get your popcorn because Jay's about to talk to you. Somebody said, no, Jay, you should read the whole thing. So you know what? I'm about to read the whole thing. I'm probably going to be sitting here for another 10 minutes. So you don't got the time. Shut it off. I don't care. I don't care right now. This is this. I don't care. (laughs) Okay, I do care. Just (laughs) okay. Sorry. (laughs) And uh, mm, you guys know what's going on with the rural carriers. Jay, so sorry for all the content that I'm sending. I just appreciate your channel. I hope that you can get this word out. The following is a much, much better and detailed explanation of what's going on with the NRLCA, the president and its members. The following is from a rural carrier chat forum posted by a user called... (laughs) Point one, what happens if the NRLCA is decertified? You ready? The NRLCA assertion that they won't represent rural carriers anymore after decertification employs a false dilemma fallacy. A decertification election merely represents an opportunity for carriers to choose an alternative representative that better aligns with their preferences and needs rather than being limited to the current representation. All right, so they also sent an image from what the the rural carrier said. Attempts to decertify the NRLCA. National Board is aware of efforts to decertify the National Rural Letter Carrier Association. We are providing the attached one-page document to the field to offer additional facts and information as to what would be at risk if we are decertified. We take any and all attacks against this union seriously, and we will not sit idly by to see what happens. Well, get your ass up and represent your damn people. That's what you do. That's number one. Who is this guy on the screen? Y'all show it to him. Rural carrier president, whoever you are. You can't tell me anything because I know what y'all do. You sit your asses down, collect your money. If you did what you needed to do, you would have made sure that your people were paid correctly from day one. You would have fought the fight that was supposed to be engaged in instead of sitting back and just, oh, well, you know, the union, we can only but do so much. Shut up. Sounds stupid. Please share this document widely with your state boards and fellow union members. It's time to bring awareness to our membership as there is a lot at risk. You're not going to sit idly by, so let's tell them what they'll lose if they don't keep us. That's that's sad. That's sad. So they send this list. What happens if the NR is decertified? We'll no longer be able to represent the rural letter carriers. All right. Every right and term, current salary rates and guaranteed salary increases. They tell me what they do. Twice a year COLA adjustments, EMA rates, grievance and arbitration provisions, just cause protections for discipline and termination. You will be at will employee. Mm. No layoff provisions, seniority rights, scheduling rights, protection from subcontracting. They still subcontract the mill. Health insurance, life insurance and retirement benefits, work rules. You will lose your UN stewards and representatives. Half of them don't know where they at, yo. Stop with the bullshit. 
Okay, stop with the bullshit. You trying to fear monger these people talking about this is what's going to happen if you decertify us. You think they're trying to decertify you because they don't want you? No, you dumbass. They want you to do your damn job. Okay, this 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 is bullshit. And I'm man, I am not. Yo, I don't even like our unions. Honestly, I don't. I don't. But seriously, you want to sit there and talk to your members like that? Y'all on that bullshit right there. Y'all will never hear Jay cursing, but now I'm reading this for the first time with you. We share this experience together. Let's talk about it. A union has invested in millions of dollars in an extensive and effective steward system. With decertification, your district representatives, assistant district representatives, area students, and local stewards will be stripped of their legal authority to help resolve grievances and other workplace conflicts. What? Yo, are you guys under a rock? Are you living under a rock? Seriously, you do you really think y'all do so much for them? You sit and you do just enough so you can stay in power. But now all of a sudden you want to wake up because people are talking about getting rid of you? Man, you can't. management will have all the power. Where do you get this foolishness from? Okay, number one. <laughs> y'all act like your anti-management will half of you sleep with management. Oh, management will have all the power if you just, if we're not there, you just, shut up. You sound, mm. The rights bargained in a collective bargaining with the Postal Service since 1970 will no longer be guaranteed. And without a collective bargaining agreement, postal management will have unilateral rights to set wages and working conditions. Really, bruh? Really? All of a sudden, you act like the post office didn't have this union before or any union before. There is no guarantee that you will be represented by another union. Right. So if there's no guarantee that they're going to represent by another union, then why don't you just get up, change the shit you have in the damn, change what you got up top, okay? Because it's not working for people down at the bottom. I personally, I think the rural carriers, eh, they're a little laxed in my opinion, but I don't think that you guys do what you, you representatives do what you're supposed to do. I sat back and talked about this years ago, Jay did. Some weird dude on the internet talked about, hey, change is coming. What the hell do I know? I'm just a postal worker like everybody else. But I knew change was coming. How come y'all didn't tell your people? How come you didn't demand to have a union meeting with all of your people? Listen, this is going to affect your pay. This is some serious shit coming down the pipe. We need to buckle down. If you weren't doing what you were supposed to do before, get your ass and do what you need to do now. Now, because if you don't, a year or two years from now, you're going to be hurting in the pocket. You knew that this shit was happening. Again, I'm just some dude sitting in the living room talking to you. But you guys knew. You didn't pass that information on to your people. And when I passed it on, everybody looked at me like, who's this weirdo talking? He's fear mongering. He's gaslighting. That was almost a year ago. Check out the video. A year ago, everybody thought I was gaslighting. Now the shit come to fruition, they mad at their union because the union actually knew that this was happening. Y'all, bullshit. There is no guarantee that you were sing, signing a decertification petition only guarantees, again, that's a lie, an election as to whether the NRC will represent you. To replace the NRLCA, another union would have to agree to represent rural carriers as a majority of rural carriers would have to vote in a separate election to establish a new union as the collective bargaining representative. Okay, now that's what happens if there's, yo, honest to God, this, I don't, I don't really want to go through all of the, um, you know, all the quotations or all the people that were talking about this on Reddit. But um, another person said the NRLCA's portrayal of potential risk appeared to violate the principle of ensuring members' rights to fair and equal treatment. NRLCA Constitution Article 3, 9. B, by presenting one-sided negative scenarios without acknowledging potential benefits or alternative representation options, the association may be limiting members' access to balanced information for their decision-making. 
You know what that means? Y'all are lying and trying to say, no, 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 don't go look over that fence. Don't go look over that fence because they're not good. You're not going to see nothing good. Don't do it. Members, don't do it. And in your own constitution, it says you can't do that, but you're doing it. You're violating your own constitution. See, This is not animated. This is real. This is Jay saying, man, regardless of whether or not the rural carriers do a lot of work, a little bit of work, they're still carriers. Okay. <laughs> There's a passion that I have for this because the postal family, whether you hate me or you love me or you're indifferent, the postal service itself has gotten me through a lot of my mental issues through a lot of my financial issues, through a lot of my issue issues. So I'm okay to represent this place. Now, everything that goes on behind the scenes, think about this. We bark at management all the time. Management this, management that. I used to say a while ago, I said, hey man, unions be in bed with management. And when I say that, then somebody from the union jumps on here and says, well, no, 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 no. But this is truth. And then when people get tired after the fire is out of control and now they put it out there that they're going to do something about it, then the union wants to fight back. We're not going to sit by and stand idly. Okay, don't sit by. Go do your job. Okay. There's no reason that your rural carrier should be watching this dude. My name ain't even Jay. They refer to me as Jay. They, these people don't even know who the hell I am. But there are people that are coming on to watch me because I provide them the information that you guys try to hide. And the only reason they feel comfortable, people give me information, is because, yes, I've been in management. Yes, I've been grinding. You see how goddamn red I am? I sit out in the sun all day. Okay, this is a real person that does his work, due diligence. My son's going to be here in a little while. This is a real person that's giving some real shh. You don't believe me? Read the comments. Oh, that's just the way you go. You, you know, if you watch Fox News, you like Fox. If you like CV, you know, no. This is a postal community. They will argue with each other, but they got one goal. That's to be successful. And you guys, whether it's management, whether it's other postal workers, whether it's the union. Nobody can get on the same page. And you know who's sitting up at the top playing chess? Mr. DeJoy. I said this a year ago. And watching us just destroy ourselves. So Union A, National Rural Letter Carrier Association, understand that the people are coming to a stranger to get information because you don't provide it. The information that you know. Now, this goes for all unions as well, because all the unions know about this. And if your shop stewards don't, and you saw some information that was given by me, a guy that you don't even know his name, just the character, the character is J.H. And the information I'm giving to you is real. But you're paying dues. You're giving your hard-earned money to your union to defend you, to make sure that you guys have decent wages, to keep to, to keep your jobs, and they're not doing their job. Understand whatever union rep is out there that may be watching. It's only the start, because the rural carriers may not be successful. They may not be, but they're gonna wake you up. I said USPS is not like UPS, where UPS would sit there and just, you know what? I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. Then the Teamsters would say, okay, boom, we'll pull back all our guys and go down to the last wire and be threatening to strike. And then what happens? Last wire, UPS gives in, right? Right. There's a movement and there's a change coming. Get with the times, no more uh, retired people sitting behind as president acting like you're doing a justice a good deed for your people get rid of them vote them out 
Get people that represent your best interest in the seats to make sure that you have some food. So to make sure, hey, you know what? This little PSE thing, I'm only guaranteed two hours a day. What? What? I can work five days a week, 10 hours. What? I work for the post office. Y'all fix this in the contract. Fix it. Get it done. Instead of the people that say, well, you know, it's the way things are. No. Get some bulldogs in there to take care of business. Or you people that are watching, whether you are a carrier association, whether you're with the uh, APWU and you tired of what's going on, Jamie King, that one dude and his partner said, you know what? It's enough is enough. Do your own research. Because at this rate, if you don't stand for something, you're going to fall for everything. Think about that. This is J.H. Sorry about the ramble at the end, but I hope I got my point across. Somebody goes, I don't know what the hell he's talking about. We out. Unexpected expenses stressing you out? Get the money you need now with Loans for Feds, a program designed specifically for federal employees. Bad credit is not a problem. Application is fast and easy with same-day approvals. Apply now.